mit Drinks. <lacht> Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I'm in a very different place. Um, I don't have a pretty background yet. There's a box and there's my closet. I'm trying to get a tripod so I can actually like set up my camera in a nice place and get a good background. But for right now, this, this is what we got. Hmm. Um, so anyways, yeah, I moved across the country. So if you're wondering where I've been, why I've been less active, that's that's why. Um, it's a lot, and we're still, you know, getting used to everything. Um, but today we have a very fun video. I have been looking forward to this video for a very long period of time. Today we're going to be talking about charming and charging jewelry. And now charming and charging are kind of two different things. Charming is, for lack of a better term, to charm or to enchant something with a specific intent so it carries it with you as you kind of go around. And charging is just giving that, like, object some juice. So let's say I have a rose quartz. I will charge the rose quartz, give it a little, whoop, little boost of energy, but I won't be charming the rose quartz. Charming usually indicates some level of spell versus charging. I'm gonna get these confused. I know that I am. Everyone has very different methods for charming and charging jewelry. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. It's hot. Everyone has very different methods for charming and charging jewelry. I tend to go the most practical, low material <laughs> amount um, and way. That's just kind of what I like to do. So I will walk you through my particular method for charming jewelry and my particular method for charging jewelry. We're gonna start with charging because I feel like it's super easy. Before you do any of this, you know, you gotta cleanse your jewelry. The best way to do this is run it under water, wipe it, bless it. You can place it in a bowl of salt. You can put it in like some moon water. A really great way to cleanse silver I found is actually cleaning the silver. Um, because silver will get tarnished over time, especially when it's exposed to oxygen or different types of materials. So if you want to polish your silver, that's a really great way of cleansing it. After you cleanse it, we're going to start just by learning how to charge a piece of jewelry. And this goes for things that aren't jewelry as well. So if you're, you know, interested in charging a pin, that was a really weird thing that came into my head, a pin. Great. And so charging would basically for me be like, I would take the jewelry and I would either use crystals with specific intent and energy to place around it, or I would place the jewelry in a bed of herbs. That's all I would do. I wouldn't add any intention. I wouldn't add any spell. I wouldn't really add anything past that. I would just let the jewelry soak up the energy from the herbs, etc. You could, you know, meditate with the herbs, put some energy in the herbs, bless the herbs, put the herbs under moonlight, put the crystals under moonlight, all that fancy stuff. But charming, charging, I knew I was gonna mess that up. Can we get a mess up counter going? We're at one. Char charging, almost out of two. Charging is just basically like charging something with intent. Like you would charge a phone, you're just giving it some juice. I particularly prefer to charm my jewelry because I find that it works better for me that way, but it totally is up to you and what you choose to do. Um, so like I said, I would place it in a bed of herbs. I have a very lovely like resurrection plant. I could place the jewelry into the plant, place it by my snake skin, something to give it energy and I would place it there with intent for that jewelry to soak up the energy of the object that's near. You could place it on a bay leaf, you could place it near crystals, on tarot cards, all these things just to charge it with intent. And this is really great if you have an amulet or a talisman, like I have my little cornicello. Cornicello kind of already has its own intent, it's to protect me from the evil eye or il malocchio. And charming it really won't do anything because technically it already has power behind it because of its historical usage. So I usually just charge this one versus my ring and my St. Mary pendant. I char charm. So close. Did I mess up? I may have. Um, a charm. 
So charge and charm. A little charming technique that I do. Very similar to how I charge. I really go for like, pra like I said, practical, no mess, easy way. You're gonna wanna get a bowl of salt. And with that bowl of salt, you're going to either write your intent on a piece of paper or you are going to add some herbs into it that kind of match that intent. Overall, we are putting our intent into this bowl of salt. It also doesn't have to be a bowl of salt. It can be a bowl of water. It can be a bowl of herbs. Either way, we are placing our intent via sigil, via petition, into this little salt bowl. And from there, you are going to place your jewelry in it and leave it. I really like doing this because I can use this method again and again and again. I can take my jewelry off at night, put it in this bowl of herbs and intention and salt. The salt will cleanse it, the herbs will charge it, the intention will charm it. I'm so proud of myself for getting all that right. And then I can pick it up the next morning and it's recharmed and recharged. Of course, with this bowl of salt, you're gonna have to switch it out. I like to switch mine out monthly, my little bowl of herbs, or just rework it and rework the kind of um, intent that you're using. And that's my particular method, but there are, of course, you know, other methods that you can do as well. If you want, you can cleanse it, charge it, and you can meditate with the actual jewelry and focus in on the intent. You can wrap the in the jewelry in like a piece of paper that has your intention or petition on it and set it to the side. Um, you can include it in a spell where you keep the jewelry around, you light a full candle, full intention, and you just have the jewelry either under that candle or next to the candle and you ha just have them linked. There are so many different ways to do it and the benefits are endless. And now you can charge, charge your charm jewelry for so many different intentions. Um, charging, like I said, is more absorbing certain plants, energies, absorbing, just giving like a juice, like charging a phone. Versus charming, you can charm jewelry for so many intentions. I particularly like to use protection. I like to use divination. I use different types of protection, protection from the evil eye, protection from psychic attack, all these different things kind of come into play. And when you have crystals in your jewelry, like I do, that kind of adds another level of you can work with that crystal to charm or charge your intention. You'll notice that I have like fantastic jewelry in this video. Um, I wanna give a very quick shout out. Uh, Edda Love sent me this ring and the pair of earrings you see in the video. I love at a love i get like a lot of my jewelry from there um this little thorn ring is there from there as well and they actually gave me a discount code to share with you all so if you are interested in purchasing from at a love it's very much like stainless steel super hardy super my style they have a whole spellbound collection coming out now with the pentacle earrings the blue moon ring all this beautiful wonderful stuff it has just been released so if you're interested um you can use that code Boop and it'll be in my caption as well for you to get interested in. And I think that it's the perfect type of jewelry for me to wear like most of the time. Like you'll see me with my little sword earrings in, that's from Etta Love. My pentacle earrings are from Etta Love and most of my rings are from Etta Love. So yeah, definitely love them as a brand, as a jewelry company, I think they're amazing and I definitely feel like even if you don't wanna buy from there, you could check them out. Tea break. But overall, um, I'm really excited to share this method with you guys. If you have a different method for charming, charging, cleansing jewelry, I would love to hear about it. Please, please, please leave a comment. Tell me all about it. This is just my method that I wanted to share with everyone. And I think that it's a great little witchy practical tip to do every day. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you want, you can leave a like, a comment, you can turn the bell on, you can subscribe. If not, no pressure. If you stayed to the end of the video, you already know how I feel about you. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Sabenedica!